Today we are going to compare two devices in a gaming comparison which offer incredible value. So we have the OnePlus 9 and the iPhone 11. Let's see which one does better. So hey guys, welcome to the channel and let's get into the video. To start with, we have the OnePlus 9 on the left and the iPhone 11 on the right. Both have very different design philosophies. On one we have a notch which is the iPhone. On the other hand we have a hole punch display which looks much superior. The iPhone has a glass and metal sandwich while the OnePlus 9 has a plastic frame with Gorilla Glass on both the sides. Before we get into the rest of the video, do subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon and don't forget to like the video. It really helps the channel grow. Next, let's talk about the displays. And here, there is a serious difference between both the displays. The OnePlus 9 has a 1080p OLED display at 120Hz, which is not an LTPO panel, but a fixed 120Hz. So you get this buttery smooth experience while scrolling, uh, while using the phone, while gaming. But only very few games actually support 120Hz refresh rate right now though you can get 90 fps with some games which is an added advantage overall the display is pretty sharp though it is a 1080p display it'll be very difficult to pin and point whether you're looking at a fhd plus 1080p or a quad hd plus display on the other hand we have the iphone 11 which is a 1080p display and or rather a sub 1080p display it is an lcd panel which Apple calls liquid retina IPS LCD it gets pretty bright not as bright as what you see on the OnePlus 9 but really good it has good colors good color reproduction and it is comparable to the deep blacks which you see on an OLED screen Apple has done really well with that clarity wise I think both are at par you would not find a difference with respect to both these devices if I keep them side to side let me quickly open up something similar on both the phones so that we can see the color differences as well as the clarity difference. This will really give you a perspective on which one's the better display here. And this could come down to a personal preference. Maybe someone likes an enhanced color reproduction on their display or and someone likes natural colors. The iPhone is more on the natural bend. So you get the exact same experience, the clar clarity wise both displays are similar as I said. The only difference which I see and feel is that you get a double refresh rate on the OnePlus which is 120Hz compared to iPhone's 960. So on in the long run, this does make a difference if you are planning to keep the phone for 3-4 years because all the devices will have a high refresh rate and you have got a device which has got a 60 hertz so this is side to side and do let me know down in the comment section which one do you think did better here and now we are going to move to the next one which is speed and performance because these are really important when it comes to gaming as well as someone who is looking for a powerful smartphone so i am just opening up both the games together and the iphone wins here even though the processor is almost more than a year old now the iphone does really well with respect to its speed compared to the snapdragon 888 processor so on the oneplus 9 we have a snapdragon 888 processor with an 8 or 12 gb of ram depending upon the storage you choose the one which i have here is the 8 gb ram the iphone 11 comes with an the apple a13 bionic with a 4 gb of ram and this does not change with the storage option and both are running the latest available options which are with respect to iOS I have installed the beta version so we are at iOS 15 and the OnePlus has got its own Oxygen OS and even though uh, iOS is on beta it still loads up faster now let's hear the sound and I will keep quiet so that you can hear the speakers
So those were the speakers and both the phones have a front firing speaker which is in the earpiece and a bottom firing speaker which is the main speaker and I think both did really well but I found that the OnePlus is a little louder while the iPhone is a little more bass heavy. When you hold them in a landscape position both the speakers get blocked out because of your hands so you need to take that into consideration also. If you're wearing your phones and playing then it should not be a problem. Now let's jump into the displays and we've already spoken about the displays that it is a 1080p panel, sub 1080p panel rather on the iPhone and let me put the settings which are extremely similar to both the phones. So we have the max frame rate as well as the very high graphic quality and they both are the same on both the phones. The OnePlus has a 1080p 120Hz OLED display so keep that in mind when you're looking at the colors I think both the phones are doing extremely well with respect to the colors I think that OnePlus has slightly better colors so you they look better while the iPhone iPhone's display looks a bit washed out but remember those are the real colors which we are looking at and it always gives you the real colors so it will come down to a personal preference. Now let's quickly dive into the match and see how the gameplay is and how the displays and other things do. And I'm fast forwarding this part. If you want to look at it, you can always slow down the video. Now both the phones have loaded up and there will be a little bit of gameplay in the middle so that we can see which phone is better to play with and more comfortable and how they handle the game also. Both these devices are extremely powerful so I do not expect any lag from them. And now when we're looking at the same exact scene in both the phones, you can see that the OnePlus looks a little bit better here and that must be because of the enhanced color which comes out as I have kept on saying. Also that now we are looking at the difference between a notchless display and a notch display. So frankly, if you, if you continuously play on the iPhone or if you are used to the iPhone, it is not going to make that much of a difference because you will get used to it. The OnePlus on the other hand has a corner hole, hole punch display and there is no hindrance whatsoever from that part. And before we go to the other things, let's look at a little bit of gameplay. You can skip this part if you don't want to see it. So that was the gameplay and I hope it gives you a good idea of how both these phones are. Now let's talk about what the OnePlus can do over the iPhone. So the iPhone is a very standard operating system. You get a notification, it's going to show up. OnePlus on the other hand has a gaming mode and it can do a couple of things more than what the iPhone does. So let's check those out as well and see how OnePlus optimizes uh, their phones for a good gaming experience So you basically get a ton of features When you switch on the pro gaming mode as they call it uh, You can find it under the games application in your application draw and As you can see Call of Duty is showing here and I can turn it on with pro gaming so you have a lot of things like you can answer calls via the speaker you can uh, disable notifications uh, have them in a particular way uh, it even creates a haptic feedback for your games which Call of Duty supports it'll activate DND enhance your network everything so you have all these features coming in from OnePlus's end and personally when I play with the pro gaming mode I do not see too much of a difference uh, with respect to the performance and the network management but it is good to have such features 
uh, which disable your notifications sometimes notifications can get irritating now let's look at the battery life and what damage it has done to the batteries the iPhone has a 3110 mAh battery while the OnePlus has a 4500 mAh battery and both support really good battery life but the things to note here are that if I look at what the usage has been like though it does not show up on the iPhone but the OnePlus drained about 7% of the battery and the iPhone drained about 15% so that's quite a bit but again since the iPhone 11 is on iOS 15 beta and battery life in the beta versions are known to look and perform very badly so I'm not looking at the difference here at all for me both the devices did pretty well if I look at a standby time for both the devices individually uh, the iPhone lasts the entire day without a problem and the oneplus also does so that's a plus point there both these devices are great with respect to their performance as well as their battery life what will come down uh, as a difference would be the operating system so you have android and oxygen os on top of that while on the other hand you have ios and if you are from the iOS ecosystem then the iPhone 11 does make sense to you though it is a one and a half year old phone it is doing really well with respect to its performance even in 2021 and I made a video talking about the long-term benefits of having the iPhone 11 and I will link that down in the description and with that we are at the end of the video do let me know which one would you prefer between these devices do comment below because I answer to all your queries and as usual, thanks for watching.